Hi, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, bringing you another video on the uh, calculators for Palladino Power Project in uh, Final Surge. Um, this one, I will be reviewing the calculator to be used for races um, uh, equal to or longer than 40 minutes, so your longer races. Uh, and using that calculator to calculate uh, FTP CP. Um, I, you could, if you have a time trial that's that long, you could use it in this calculator as well, but not many people do uh, time, true time trials. Um, uh, they might do virtual races, um, and certainly that can be put in here. If they're longer than 40 minutes, equal to or longer than 40 minutes, this calculator will work, as long as it's a, a good max effort. Um, so once again, you have to be in beta mode on your cal on your final surge calendar, and you come down to the uh, icons on the far right of your calendar screen. Click on the cal the calculators icon, and it'll bring up your various uh, calculators. Uh, uh, there's a number of them. You want to click on the Paladino uh, tab, which brings you to the Paladino Power Project calculators. Um, this one, this particular video, is going to be uh, addressing this particular uh, calculator. The one that gives you a CP, FTP estimate um, from a race or time trial that's greater than or equal to 40 minutes. So your longer races would go in here. It also has a uh, Rigel exponent reference table. Let me talk about that first. So let's say you ran a marathon and it was, uh, the result is two hours and 45 minutes. Um, then you just scroll down. Okay, I ran a marathon and the time was in this range. So I'm going to be using, looking at the results in the calculator that's produced by the minus 0.08 um, Rigel exponent. And my FTP could fall in a range of uh, minus 0 0.07 to minus 0 0.09, uh, but the minus 0 0.08 is the most likely. Um, another example, let's say you did a 10K and let's say it was uh, 48 minutes was the result. It falls, here's 10K falls into this range of times 48 minutes. So you might use the minus 0 0.09 um, exponent. Um, and a range could be between minus 0 0.08 to minus 0 0.10. But this is the, the center of that range. And most likely, um, it's closest to your FTP or CP estimate. All right, so um, I may bounce back to this, but uh, let me again show you when, when you bring this calculator, this is in red. You, if you click on that, it'll bring this table up that allows you to look up your time and give you uh, an exponent range to look at. Now, let's, let's demonstrate. So uh, I, I actually have pulled in a few um, data, data races um, from the Facebook group recently. I won't mention any names, but um, I will use the, the uh, data. So here is a one where the athlete ran um, three hours, um, 54 minutes, and 53 seconds with an average power of 239 watts. So as I click that estimate results, I scroll back down because the calculator will always pop, pop to the top. Um, so I put the data in, I put the, the power data in, estimate the results, and this will give you the, the full range of exponents. But we know the athlete ran three hours and 55 minutes approximately. So we'll come to the table, marathon, uh, three hours and 50 minutes falls into this, this uh, row. 
So we're going to be looking at minus uh, 0 0.10 with a range of minus 0 0.09 to minus, uh, 0, or minus 0 0.11. So again, we'll scroll down. We said minus 0 0.10. So this is providing an estimate of about 279 watts, but really it's not, you can't say exactly 279 watts, it falls in a range. And you can see this is about a plus or, uh, plus or minus four watt range in here. So around 279, but it could be anywhere from uh, 275 to 283. I would, I would say 280 is a good, good estimate off of that particular marathon. Let me give you another example. Um, this was a half marathon. Doesn't matter what the what the the distance is until you look at the Rigolex one. But um, here is the the data um, forty five and uh, it was two ninety seven. We're going to estimate the results. Scroll back down. Now for this one, we're looking at a half marathon. And it was 109.45, so it falls into this, this row here. So we're looking at a, uh, an exponent of minus 0 0.06 as the best, and with a range of minus 0 0.05 to minus 0 0.07. So we go back, and let's look at that. Minus 0 0.06 gives us a target, uh, our FTP estimate of 303 watts with a range of 302 to 304 watts. This athlete's working um, CP estimate at the time of this race, going into this race, was 304 watts. So it's a, it's a pretty reliable um, estimation. Assuming that the race is representative of maximum effort, um, or pretty close to it. Um, all right, let's do uh, one more. Um, we'll do another uh, marathon estimate. This one, um, three hours, uh, 26 minutes, uh, 30 seconds, and 380 watts. And we scroll down. Let's look at the, the, uh, the suggested uh, reference tables here. So 326 falls into this row of three hours to 340. So we're using minus 0 0.09 with a range of minus 0 0.8, or 0 0.08 to uh, minus 0 0.10. So again, this is the this is the key uh, exponent, but it could be in this range. And let's go back um, and look at minus 0 0.09. Um, and we're getting a, uh, a, FT, a CP, FTP estimate of 432, um, uh, approximately plus or minus 6 watts. 432 plus or minus about 6 watts here. Looking at these three rows and this row in particular. Um, and um, that is what that particular uh, race generated in terms of uh, an, an FTP CP estimate. Now, note that the range was a lot tighter for the one hour, nine minute, 45 second uh, half marathon. The reason is, is that as that um, duration uh, goes outwards, goes further and further, longer and longer. So four hours is going to give you a, a pretty wide range. Um, where one hour or an hour and two minutes is going to give you a lot tighter range because it lies closer to the athlete's uh, approximate um, time to exhaustion at uh, CPFTP. So uh, uh, once again, there's the, the, that particular calculator. You're probably familiar with it. It's in the, this calculator is in the superpower calculator. Um, 
And I wanted to bring it over here so people that ran races could also utilize this to see what the race um, provides in terms of an FTP CP estimate and the, the approximate range around that estimate. Uh, so there you have it. That's that calculator. Next, uh, next one we'll, I'll be covering will be the uh, one to be used for races of duration less than or equal to 40 minutes. Um, thank you for watching this one. Um, I'll put a few links down in the um, uh, notes for this calculator. Um, thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.